Hello everybody and welcome to Catalan's Today webinar where we uh, discuss today's topic which is about how to make a smooth landing in InSpring automation. So I'm Harold, part of the marketing team at Catalan and I'm really thrilled to discuss this topic with my co-host today, Ms. Queen Dole, our product manager at Catalan Recorder. Uh, she can she will definitely help me to deep dive into today's topic and we can have a chat about that later on uh, I'm gonna talk about the agendas today so buck up and then let's start uh, can I have to start kicking off nice so just so you know making sure the quality is important but also ensuring our quality is up to the speed is something that are you know, bugging us all the time and we are super duper happy to share with you today's agenda so we can all solve this puzzle together we're going to start off with the benefits and roadblocks in inspring automation and then we're going to steer into the right pathway where we fasten our scalability together with confidence in inspring automation and then we'll finish off with today's call solution where we bring Catalan Recorder to the main stage as it can help you quickly get up to your speed with in-spring automation and so on. All right, before passing the baton to my co-host today, Ms. Uyen Do, I just want to address a quick question to her. Uh, let's take into consideration the fact that I am myself, you know, a non-tech guy who joins Catalan not long ago compared to her. Yes, still have many things to learn. And the terminology of today's webinar is about in spring automation. So, wait, can you help me to explain this terminology in the most, I would say, in fancy way? And also to the audience so that they can understand this term. Yeah, please. Hi, everyone. This is Uyen from the recorder team. Nice meeting you all today. So before I talk about in sprint test automation, I'm sure a lot of y'all know about the traditional N1 sprint in which testing starts at least one sprint behind the development phase. However, creating and executing tests take a considerable amount of time when you use testing frameworks like Selenium WebDriver, and this results in the time lag between developing and testing since um, QAs usually wait for a month or so to explore new functionalities. Next slide, please. So what's InSprint Automation? Um, InSprint Automation breaks the silo between the development and testing phases. So instead of having to work separately, developers and QAs can now engage in the entire process all together in one sprint. And this method brings forward many advantages to the process. First of all, it benefits cross-functional collaboration because it ensures everyone in the team progresses simultaneously. Next, it gives the opportunity to detect and fix bugs earlier in the um, software development life cycle. The automated test will be ready at the same time that coding is completed. And last but not least, this helps shorten the test cycles and maximize test coverage. Well, nice. Um, I just interrupt right here. Uh, it, it sounds like it engage everyone within one spring. It sounds pretty amazing, but it is an easy path. Or if so, if all the teams have adopted in spring already, like all of us here, and, and then there's no need to conduct this webinar, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Would you so, answer that? <laughs> <laughs> so along with the benefits, um, there are a few roadblocks that one could possibly encounter when moving into um, in sprint test automation. So imagine you got last minute change in test requirements because um, maybe your team learned something new about uh, users and you decide to upgrade the existing user stories. Now we all know the process of test creation and execution, um, especially if you have bulky tests, could take up to one or two weeks. And as a result, you circle back to the end one sprint eventually. And we know that in sprint automation isn't a one size fits all solution, especially for teams with bulky and inflexible frameworks. But if you have simpler tests 
and are looking for a fast and lightweight solution for test automation, we've got something for you today. Yes, absolutely. So that's where requires comes to the stage. So I, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce Calon Recorder again. I mean, to anyone that already know about us or you have heard about us for the first time, um, this is the time. So Recorder is the most UI friendly and simplest extension for record and playback on your favorite browsers, you know, like Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. It's a perfect daily drive web recorder at your convenience. Calon Recorder will make your test automation work a lot easier. You can export recorded tests to any of the following supported languages framework, such as Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, etc. Because if you imagine you step back in the problem space for a moment and then you're looking at you know your products or your release and then you want to gain confidence for that release, but then it always comes to the point where manual testing it doesn't cut it. It eventually uh, the only way to can to gain confidence is through automated testing. And anyone who joined us here today uh, that works for, for example, a small company or you're from a startup that are actually looking for confidence in your release, you definitely check us out at catalon.com slash catalon recorder IDE. So you download the extension install it right on your favorite browser. We do support Firefox and Microsoft Edge besides the good on Google Chrome. And then at, I mean, at Catalon, we, we, we believe that we can do more than that. We believe that automated testing activities should serve all team sizes, no matter your small scale teams or enterprises. We offer solutions for teams who want to adopt and scale test automation in order to deliver better software faster with our best practices. So introducing, you see on the slide, Catalon platform. It is simple to use for teams who are just getting started with automation, adaptable for teams that are expanding and changing their automation methods and robust for organizations with cutting edge practices. Our platform make it easier to create automated tests, run them, evaluate the results, and coordinate test automations as a critical continuous loop in the software development lifecycle. Our platform is so comprehensive to handle a team's whole test automation program from authoring to execution to reporting and insights. Moreover, it's flexible to integrate with the rest of the team's architecture, allow you to use whichever tools you like, regardless of their, your, your preferred processes. That flexibility makes us a great fit for both early state team automation or enterprise scaling projects. I mean, indeed, we offer a, a very complete toolkit to adopt test automation best practices out of the box. So it gives you the flexibility and scalability required to handle your team's ever-changing ecosystem and processes. So as to speak, my co-host window will bring up the core values that Recorder offers in order for you and your team to achieve in-spring automation with speed and confidence. Okay, so um... Among many values that Catalan Recorder could offer to um, those who are looking to get started in instrument test automation that Harold just mentioned, there are four main ones that I'd like to share to y'all today. Um, so you can start um, test automation right away with very little effort. And, um, and you can use Catalan Recorder to reduce time, effort, maintenance effort, I mean, and risk to uncover test defects. You can also use um, our platform as um, Catalan Test Op to communicate testing results, which I'm going to show you how to do that later. And then we also provide flexible migration path, just like um, Harold just mentioned, in case you know you need to scale your uh, testing process. So, um, so now is the time that I take over the stage. Thank you, Joseph. I'll share my screen so I can demo to y'all. Hang on, but 
But how all these values work together to have someone start in Spring Automation easily? Can you explain them, you know, each of them one by one in detail? Sure. Um, so you can start test automation right away with very little effort. And um, installation only requires one click on your browser. Uh, we also support scriptless automation with the record and playback function, which you could use to create a test script super easy. Also, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. <laughs> as you can see, um, so as you can see, um, here's the old UI of Catalan Recorder, um, which is pretty similar to um, Selenium IDE or um, UI Vision that uh, many of you could be using. And uh, on the right side is a new UI of Catalan Recorder, which you could um, edit your test script straight up in the table. And that makes it um, faster and easier for you to create your test and execute your test. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, um, how do I? I'm gonna move this. Hold on. Can I move this, Harold? Yes, of course you can. Okay. So Kalan Recorder is easy to find. You just go on Chrome Web Store and type in Kalan Recorder. And then um, here I have um, Chrome and Kalan Recorder side by side. So it's easier for you to see how uh, Kalan Recorder, you know, record the script and um, execute the script makes it easier. Um, here I already installed Recorder. So, um, but if you haven't, uh, there will be a, it'll say add to Chrome and it's just one click installation. Okay. so. Um, Recording, record, and playback function makes it um, super easy for you to start um, creating your first scriptless script. Uh, so let's say I click here, record, and then um, click on here. I'm feeling lucky. So as you could see, um, Talon Recorder automatically records um, all the action that you do on your browser, and then it it automatically creates a script for you. Um, let me hit stop. Okay. So, um, so how Catalan Recorder can um, help you reduce time and effort um, to, you know, create your test and execute your test. In here, we have um, our sample project. Right here, we have multiple samples and introduction um, as to how you could. Um, you know, uh, learn to create better test scripts according to your needs. Okay. Next, Kalan Recorder helps you reduce time and effort to uncover test defects. And uh, some of our advanced feature could help shorten test cycles as well as release cycles. The first feature I'm gonna show you is self-healing. So self-healing will help you execute tests better and faster. Um, imagine you test on a website and it changes and your locators will become broken locators, right? And in this case, the self-healing feature right here will um, automatically detect broken locators and proposes valid locators as alternatives. Um, let me show you right here. I'm just going to use the script as an example. So um, say you... Um, let me execute this first so you could see how it looks like, okay? Wait, so does, does that mean, say I test on a given website and then this sudden change occurring on the side, which happens all the time, usually my tests fail to reach the finish line. This bugs me a lot of time. So if I start in spring, how can recorders help me with you know self healing feature right that you just mentioned? Yeah, so this was a past uh, test script. So imagine um, I got a broken locator. I'm just gonna delete it here, so it makes it a broken locator. Okay, and then I execute it again. So in this case, um, as you could see, self healing automatically detects that. It has um, in your script, it has a broken locator and then it, um, it proposed a new alternative locator right here. All you have to do is click on approve and then approve it and it will replace it with a valid locator. So it's super fast 
to fix your test script in case um, you know your website changes or something? Right. I think I have more confidence running tests knowing that all the locators are now in good hands. But how about having multiple test scripts with the same value? Is there a faster way to change and apply new values across all those test cases? I mean, not just me, but I'm pretty sure that all, like all of us, we're all tired of the boring copy and paste work, aren't we? Yeah, so the second feature that I'm gonna show y'all is um, global variables. So as you can see, we have multiple values here in the test and the test script. And imagine you have multiple test scripts with the same value. And then um, during your test, your testing, you need to change the value. Um, so normally you would have to go to each test test case and then change it, right? But then global variables allows you to change the value one time and use that in multiple test scripts. Um, and by creating a global variable and applying it to certain test cases, you could save so much time and maintenance effort during um, test creation and ex execution. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So you see profiles right here, this is global variables. You, um, I have already created a defaults profile right here. And then um, I have two of the uh, global variables as a first name and last name. And it's, um, it's under my name, but I could change it to say, you know, your name, Harold. <laughs> and then, um, what's your last name, Harold? It's Huang, H-O-A-N-G. H-O-A-N-G, okay. So, awesome. when I executed this script earlier, like five minutes earlier, you could see that first name and last name is under my name, right? And um, so now I'm going to execute again. But first, you'll have to... So this is how you're gonna use your um, global variables. You click on here, use this in a test case. And this test case is the one that I, I was just executed. Next, replace it. First name. Last name. Okay, add. Okay, now I'm gonna, it says you added global variables successfully. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my test script, execute again. So you could see that it changed to your name. So in this case, um, my audience, um, if you have like, you know, 10 scripts, you could use, um, and with similar values, you could use global variables to replace all the values at one time. And that's how, um, that helps saving so much time, I promise. Yeah, great. Thanks for showing how global variables work. I believe this will have a lot within Spring when teams need to adapt quickly to last minute changes in test requirements. But if you, I mean, do you mind if I ask another question? Sure. How about executing specific test cases related to a new functionality? Let's say I release a new calculations you know, functionality on a finance website project for my client. I have multiple test cases and test suites. There's only a few test cases that need to be run. But as you know, we usually have no choice but to run everything, which is counterintuitive. So this circle back to the time uh, within the quote issue you mentioned earlier. So how can we tackle this? Okay, so um, if you could see there's this dynamic test suite feature right here. This feature lets you organize and execute your tests according to the tags. Tags are here, the orange tags. Um, say you would like to execute only test cases in this test suite, right? As um, common actions and um, store CSV sample maybe. And then I, I already tag these test cases as A. If you click on here and you type on um, the tag you want, you can tag it. And then, um, so normally, um, if you would like to execute only two test cases, you will have to create a new test suite and move the wanted test cases in the new test suite before you can execute them uh, at, at the same time. But now you don't have to do that anymore with Recutter. You just have to tag the test cases that you want, and then you execute the wanted test according to the tag. The way you would do it is after you tag your test cases, you click on the tag, and then click on the tag, and then you can... All you, can, all you have to do is click execute and then it'll execute 
only these two test cases. Tala Recorder um, also supports execution using um, different data sets. Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all um, do testing with data. So we support CSV and JSON type of file um, right here. So the, this script here that I have, it reads the number of lines, a particular value, and it computes value from different cells in the data file. The, da the data file is stored right here under test data. Um, so, and you could also create script that writes value to a CSV file, or you could upload images and description from a CSV file to a website if you wish to do so. And um, also, if you're, um, last but not least, um, if you're good at coding, you could also execute tests using the command line if that's convenient for you. Additionally, um, moving on to um, what I talked about earlier, how you, could, how you could communicate your test results. Um, so Catalan Recorder and the Catalan platform support, um, support communicating test results with your, you know, your coworker, your boss, or your stakeholders. And um, Catalan Test Op, which is integrated with Catalan Recorder right here. This is Catalan Test Op. You could, um, it's also one click to go to Catalan Test Ops and um, it uh, provides quick test reports and analytics for better communication across company levels. Um, it also improves cross-functional collaboration between team, team members. So here I have already um, ran a test suite, uh, which is this webinar demo test suite right here. And so as you could see, I ran four test cases and I got three that passed and one that failed. And if I have, you know, in case you have an error test case, it'll show you as well. Or if you have an incom incomplete test case, it'll show you as well. So this is how you can manage your um, test runs. Great. Uh, I mean, I, I have to you know, agree with you that uh, software quality has now become a critical business differentiator, you know, having everyone within the organizations like QAs, devs, and those with technical background and also business people, as you mentioned earlier, uh, you know, those decision makers proceed together as a team uh, is key to delivering quality products that meet business objectives. Uh, and also that's the reason many businesses look for, I mean, not just one, but many solutions. What if I use Recorder for now? And let's say I change my mind in the future. Is there any hidden costs or incompatibility between the tools? So um, as we all know, Catalan Recorder isn't the only testing solution out there in the market. And a lot of you could be using Catalan Studio or Selenium WebDriver or UI Vision. Um, well, in that case, we support exporting test scripts to multiple languages so that you could, for example, you know, develop your test case using Recorder, then export it to Selenium if you wish to do so or vice versa. Let me show you how to do that real quick. Export right here will automatically convert your recorder test script to Catalan, um, Catalan Studio language. But um, we have multiple languages in here that you can choose from. For example, you know, Selenium WebDriver, all types of languages, um, like so. And um, so we also have an active supporting community in case you have a question or need help with anything. If you're currently using Recorder um, and you have a problem with your test, feel free to reach out to us. And um, we, we always take in users' opinions and continue to develop our product in the most user-centric way. So this is the end of my demo. If anyone has a question for me, please feel free to put it in the chat box. Thank you. Great. Uh, and that brings us to the final part of today's webinar. Uh, that's pretty quick, right? All right. With that being said, let's go and kick off our Q&A. We have multiple questions that we received recently. And feel free to add in more if we can. Quickly queue up the first batch and attend all the questions that you're adding in the last minute. All right. So, uh, Win, uh, would you like to take the mic? Sure. So um, I'm gonna start answering question um, each by each. Um, if there's an, a, a question that I cannot answer, please feel free to um, send me an email 
and I'll get back to you after I consult with my engineers. Okay. So first question, um, um, looks like you guys um, are very um, concerned about the self-healing feature. Uh, so self-healing is good, but on one occasion, it did lead to us misdiagnosing a failed test case via test ops. Can it be made more obvious in test ops when a test run has used self-healing or perhaps we're missing something? So yes, um, I will bring this up with the test op team so that um, if we have any change um, re regarding, you know, um, test op and recorder and self-healing, we'll definitely um, announce that. But currently, unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Okay, next question. Um, what kind of locator errors are covered? What else is covered by self-healing? So self-healing currently, um, we're still in the progress of developing our products. So self-healing could cover, um, you know, changing objects and um, targets that, that are repeatedly changing all the time. And we know that sometimes um, self-healing doesn't work as it's expected. In that case, um, uh, please uh, manually edit your test. And um, like I said, if you have any trouble um, doing that, please um, email me. Okay, so is it possible for us to run repetition case without duplicate case? Or maybe there is action command need to be set up before the test run in order to make case run according to our will? Okay, so um, this is also some, something we're working on. We are working on scheduling your test case. Um, but if you want to do um, test scheduling, you could also um, do it in test ops um, because currently we don't have it integrated in recorder, you know, scheduling and stuff like that. Okay, so can Catalan recorder use page objects similarly to Catalan Studio? I believe um, we can do so, yes. Uh, when starting Catalan, it takes a while to open the application and the entire window stalls like it freezes because the application is loading. Does it have to do anything with my internet speed or there are other applications running on my computer? So um, currently, this happens to a few users of ours, um, but um, they're all old users and they have a very long mode um, in a lot of test cases in their Catalan recorder and that caused the buffering. We're working on fixing that ASAP. But thanks for bringing that up. Okay. Um, does self-healing also cover image comparison to identify broken locators? Um, self-healing cannot do that yet, unfortunately. Can we see a demo on running from command line? So this requires a um, coding application, which I don't have. But um, I'm sure next webinar, I'll have my engineer demo it for you all to see. Is there any other question? Yeah, uh, wait, oh, I'm just, saw, yeah, there's something just pop up. When we purchase this license, Will we get help with implementing Catalan tests being triggered by various Jenkins pipelines? Ooh. So, um, so Catalan Recorder is a free uh, web extension. Um, if you purchase Catalan Studio, um, I believe you'll get help uh, by our customer support team. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, yeah. That, that's, um, probably is uh, involved with Catalan Studio, I suppose. Yeah, but um, even though um, Catalan Recorder is free, if you have any problem, like I said, feel free to email me. Yeah, there's a couple of more. Wayne, can you have a look at the question list? Yeah, uh, so um, I want to run tests on different environments. Is there any other way than using a dedicated on-premise machine? So um, if you use Catalan Studio, you could also use um, the free version of Catalan Studio, and I believe um, we're developing Test Cloud, where you can execute your tests on cloud. Yeah, we're given we're given three minutes uh, for trial, so please do check out uh, Catalan Test Cloud right on Studio uh, interface, or you can check it out uh, via Test App as well. Uh, we we do provide a full 
uh, explanations on how to set up, how to do the integrations via our docs. So please uh, go to our documentations and uh, check out Test Cloud with all provided um, uh, tutorials that we that we already pushed out uh, probably a month ago. Okay, can we use Recorder on Android device? So um, by Android device, I don't know if you mean uh, laptop or um, phones, but you can use Recorder on Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Firefox. As an extension, of course. All right, I'm using Selenium IDE. Uh, is it easy to switch the recorder or possible if I keep using these two tools interchangeably? Oh, that's a pretty so, nice question. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so if you watch my demo, you could easily, um, you know, export a recorder script into Selenium language and then import it in Selenium ID and, you know, continue to edit it any way you want. Or if you would like to um, develop your Selenium script and then export it to um, Recorder, you, you, you're always um, welcome to do so. You can open a Selenium IDE script in Recorder. Okay, um, maybe one last question before we wrap it up. Yeah, someone asked, um, can we get this meeting recording? Um, so yes, if you um, register for this webinar, um, we'll definitely send you a recording of this webinar. Yes, absolutely. Maybe. Yeah. Can I export multiple tests in recorder to other frameworks? Or that I have to export them one by one? Oh, I mean, sorry. I think you already talked about this, but you can elaborate about this. Yeah, so audience. right now, Currently, right now, um, we can only export um, a test case into another language. Um, but if there's any change, um, we'll def definitely put it in the announcement. Great. Awesome. Yeah, we, we are at the very end of our webinars today. So I just want to remind all of you that uh, please do check us out at catalon.com slash catalon recorder IDE. You can just easily download our extension and install it right on your favorite browsers. We do support Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and the good on Google Chrome. Uh, we also have a bunch of quality information now on our blogs. So you can go ahead and take a look at catalon.com slash resources center slash blog and also yeah, I mentioned the documentations that also can help answer a lot of questions that you may have today or in the future. And last but not least, uh, we want you to become an expert because we believe uh, software quality matters to all of us. And we want to be awesome at testing, at testing as well. So we, we created Calon Academy. It's a free online learning platform where you can self-tutor not only about Calon's product within our platform, but also testing. So uh, you can create a better software for your organizations that you're working with. All right. Yes, I think uh, that's pretty much of it. Uh, any last word from Uyen uh, or everyone? So before we close today's webinar, yeah, I would like to thank you everyone to join our webinar today. Um, I'll put my email in the chat box right now. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.